Okay, so for this video, I want to give you a quick 2022 tax season update, kind of where we are so far. Um, as, a, as a reminder, the filing deadline is April 18th, 2022. So what that means is that your Form 1040 tax return has to be filed on or before that due date. It doesn't necessarily have to be accepted, but the IRS system needs to show that it was filed. So it was electronically filed, it was submitted. If it takes a few days or weeks to process, that's okay. It just has to have that timestamp showing that it went on, it went out on or before April 18th of 2022, then you're okay. If you need more time, file an extension, okay? Do not miss this extension deadline. So the extension deadline is the same date. You can electronically file a form 4868. Now it's automatic in the sense that once you file it and the IRS receives it, they have to approve it. Okay, there's a lot of miscon misconception here and confusion about what it means to be automatic. A lot of people think automatic means I automatically get it without having to do anything. That is not true, okay? You have to make that overt action of filing the 4868 extension and once it is uh, received by the IRS at that point it's automatically approved okay so very very important to remember now let's talk about the uh, deposit dates for refunds uh, most people are seeing their returns get processed relatively quickly now and they're getting their refund checks deposited there was a lot of hang up in February and early March a lot of it had to do with the PATH Act uh, but also uh, the IRS again they're, they're st slowly starting to get in into the swing of things and getting these returns out but um, we are seeing more regularity now with people filing the returns they're accepted and a deposit is being sent out within let's say three weeks okay so a little better than what it was before now as far as the deposit dates they're roughly kind of what you see here on this table so for example if you can get your return filed and accepted between march 15th and the 21st that deposit will go out around march 28th and then you need to give yourself a couple more business days just to have it kind of clear the bank and actually show up in your account. Um, now, if you're still waiting, uh, delays are for a variety of reasons, right? Um, the first reason is always there's an issue with your return. So if you file a return and there's a discrepancy, so you didn't report income, or there's a miscalculation in the taxes owed, or there's a miscalculation in maybe a credit that you're trying to claim, or um, if the IRS flags it because they think there's identity theft, some type of fraud, if there's a prior year issue, there is a long laundry list of problems that can go wrong with these returns, and that is the cause for a lot of delays. Now, a big one that we're seeing is the identity theft issue. So if your return is flagged for a potential identity theft or fraud, the IRS basically puts a hold on the account, they send you a letter and they ask you to identify, uh, verify your identity, right? To make sure it was in fact you that filed the return. And this is both frustrating, but it's actually really a good thing because identity theft has been rampant uh, with tax returns over the past couple of years. Effectively, for those of you that are not familiar, what's happening is people are stealing your identity and they're filing a tax return on your behalf, a fraudulent one, and claiming your tax refund. So the scammers no longer have to steal your credit card number, your bank account details, or your passwords. They can just steal your social security number, file a tax return for you, and then get that tax refund check sent to their house, right? That's how they're doing it now. So if your uh, return is held up for that identity verification issue, go ahead and follow the procedures get your identity verified and then hopefully the the refund will be released to you um, you know shortly now um, the other big piece of news this week uh, was the testimony of the IRS's commissioner so Charles Reddick testified uh, yesterday on the 17th about um, the current status of the tax season what the IRS is doing well what they're doing wrong and what kind of needs to be changed throughout the year uh, what we saw echoed over and over again was simply just the lack of personnel and the backlog of returns. So what, what was shocking to a lot of people is that at the start of this tax season, the IRS still had millions of tax returns from last year that were not yet processed. So imagine 
the struggles they have. They've got to get through what already is on their plate before they move over to this year, right? And so this has also been much of the cause for the delay in, the, in these filings for 2021 uh, during the 2022 uh, tax season because of this backlog. Now, what is going to help, um, they are hiring a lot more people, right? The plan is to hire about 5,000 within the next few months and then hopefully onboard a total of 10,000 new employees by the end of the year. Uh, and I think an additional 10,000 employees should really help. What, what was also interesting was they talked a lot about um, you know the hiring difficulties they have, which is understandable. So the IRS, to hire a government employee um, takes them months, whereas in the private sector, it's only two weeks, right? So you think about going to a, a privately held company, you can be hired, job offer, out, sign the contract, start two weeks later. Uh, with the government, nothing happens that quickly. And he said that was a big reason for a lot of the hiring issues is just taking six to eight months to get somebody onboarded and hired. So if they can speed that process up, which they think they can get down to um, 30 to 45 days, that's going to help a lot too. Uh, the other issue was pay, which always is, right? So the IRS, uh, the wages, the starting wages for a lot of new employees is very, very low. Uh, they've recently increased that a bit to try to make them look a little more competitive than just having people go into the private sector. So hopefully all those little things will help. Uh, and, and the big takeaway, that bottom uh, line item there, which, which I, I am hopeful they achieve that, but I'm not entirely confident. Uh, Reddit was asked, okay, you've got a backlog of returns here. You've got last year, you've got this year piling up. When is all this going to get cleared off your plate? And he said that absolutely before December, they should have a clean slate going into next year. Now, for everybody's sake, we really, really hope this happens, right? Because the last thing we want is to start next year's tax season with two years of backed up returns. Imagine how awful that's gonna be next year. So if they can really get a clean slate, so all of 2020, all of 2021, and then even lingering stuff from 2019, if all of that can get done and resolved before December 2022, that would be fantastic. And then hopefully uh, that 2023 tax season we had next year won't be as much of a disaster. Okay, so uh, that covers it for this update. Um, you know, I hope that was helpful. Like always, you know, I'll keep, keep you posted on new updates that come out of the IRS, any changes we're seeing. And um, you know, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Thank you.